O God, come to my assistance, so Lord, make haste to help me. You are my rescuer, my help, O Lord, do not delay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, the prophet Hananiah, son of Azur from Gibeon, said to me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and all the people, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two years I will restore to this place all the vessels of the temple of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place to Babylon. And I will bring back to this place Jeconiah, son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and all the exiles of Judah who went to Babylon, says the Lord, for I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. The prophet Jeremiah answered the prophet Hananiah in the presence of the priests and all the people assembled in the house of the Lord, and said, Amen. Thus may the Lord do. May he fulfill the things you have prophesied by bringing the vessels of the house of the Lord and all the exiles back from Babylon to this place. But now listen to what I am about to state in your hearing, in the hearing of all the people. From of old the prophets who were before you and me prophesied war, woe, and pestilence against many lands and mighty kingdoms. But the prophet who prophesies peace is recognized as truly sent by the Lord only when his prophetic prediction is fulfilled. Thereupon, the prophet Hananiah took the yoke from the neck of the prophet Jeremiah and broke it, and said in the presence of all the people, Thus says the Lord, Even so, within two years, I will break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, from off the neck of all the nations. At that, the prophet Jeremiah went away. Sometime after, the prophet Hananiah had broken the yoke from off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, Go tell Hananiah this, Thus says the Lord, By breaking a wooden yoke, you forge an iron yoke. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, a yoke of iron I will place on the necks of all those na- these nations serving Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him, even the beasts of the field I give him. To the prophet Hananiah, the prophet Jeremiah said, Hear this, Hananiah, the Lord has not sent you, and you have raised false confidence in this people. For this, says the Lord, I will dispatch you from the face of the earth, This very year you shall die, because you have preached rebellion against the Lord. That same year, in the seventh month, Hananiah the prophet died. The word of the Lord. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. Remove from me the way of falsehood. And favor me with your law. Lord, teach me your statutes. 
Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Lord, teach me your statutes. Let those turn to me who fear you and acknowledge your decrees. Lord, teach me your statutes. Let my heart be perfect in your statutes, that I be not put to shame. Lord, teach me your statutes. Sinners wait to destroy me, but I pay heed to your decrees. From your ordinances, I turn not away, for you have instructed me. Lord, teach me your statutes. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and proceed him to the other side of the sea while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once, Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, Command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. When he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened and began to sink. He, beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. After making the crossing, they came to a land of Gennesaret. When the men of that place recognized him, they sent word to all the surrounding country. People brought to him all those who were sick and begged him that, he might touch only the, that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak. And as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today we have a young man making his first communion. Jackson is here with us, so congratulations on this special day to receive the Lord. We hear in the Gospel today, the very end, the people just coming for healing. Not even teaching. The Lord doesn't even require that, okay, you have to sit through my three-hour lecture before I'm going to give you the, the prize. Just their, their goodness and their coming. So in your life like them, all of us, may we always come to the Lord confident of what he's able to do, of all the good that he wants to give us in our body, in our mind, in our spirit. When I was growing up, I had a best friend named Dennis, Dennis Sullivan, and, and, and his parents were both... Uh, Irish by birth, born in Ireland, came to America. And I met Dennis through the Cub Scouts and then the Boy Scouts. His dad was one of the leaders, and I was over there a lot. They had, they had six children, and uh, many of us so know everybody's friends. It was, a, it was a, a, just a, a place of chaotic joy, you know, in their home. Um, I couldn't for the life of me understand his father's accent, right? As a, as a 12, as a 13, 14-year-old, I would always, uh, you know, he would say something and I'd just look to my friend and he would translate for me, even though he's speaking English, but with, a, with an Irish accent. Now, over time, years in the Scouts being over there, I eventually got to understand the accent. And years later, as a 20-year-old, you know, as a, as a leader now in the Boy Scout troop with the same, you know, he's there too. I would watch little 12- and 13-year-olds go to him and ask something, and he would give an answer back, and they would look at me and say, what is he saying? You know, I knew how to translate now. 
And I say that today because it's about listening to the voice of God and understanding what's there, right? Whether it's Jeremiah and the quandary that they find themselves in, in that there's two prophets, people they believe to be prophets from God, who are both giving the same message, right? That, that soon the king of Babylonia will, will um, fall and everyone, all the Jews will be allowed to go back to their homeland. It's now a question of who's right. When will it take place? How will it happen? And as Jeremiah kind of says, ultimately it's up to us opening our hearts, listening and knowing what to listen for. And then that response today, Lord, teach me your statutes. We say it kind of often over and over today. You know, if you take nothing else from Mass each day, just whatever the responsorial psalm is, make that your little prayer for the day. Lord, teach me your statutes. But if we're asking him to teach us his statutes, it also means we have to be good learners. It means we have to put the time in. If I want to learn to play the piano, I, a teacher is going to tell me, look, I can give you the technique, but what you need now is practice, right? I remember years ago trying to learn typing you know, where I wasn't just using two fingers and spending most of my time looking at the keyboard and not what was being written. It takes practice over and over. To learn things in our life, that's necessary. And even in our spiritual life, it takes a regular time spent with God each day, a little bit of prayer time to talk to the Lord, to listen to him, right? And so today, Peter's facing the same thing. He's been with the Lord. He understands, but he's not quite sure now. You see that sort of hesitancy. And so he puts Jesus to the test. Lord, if it is you, let me, have me come to you. You know, all he says to Peter is come. He doesn't promise him, don't worry, Peter, I will make sure that you don't fall. That's going to be up to Peter's faith, his belief, his trust. Has he put enough time in? And so he offers. But Peter now, spending time with the Lord, recognizing him and knowing of his love, is willing to take that step out of the boat. Here's a fisherman. He knows how deep the water is. And there's been a storm, it's going to be dangerous in there. And yet here, he steps out onto the water. He understands. He believes. He begins to sink a little bit, we know. And, and that, does, that means like life isn't always going to be perfect. It's not always, we're not going to always be free from tests in our life, from maybe some, some difficult times. But we see what happens in the power of the Lord, right? The moment that he gets to Peter, Peter gets to Jesus, the moment they step onto the boat, the sea calms. The storm is over. Peter has passed the test, right? Yesterday we had that amazing splashdown of, you know, two people who were in outer space make it through the atmosphere, come down, parachutes drop them from hundreds of miles an hour. They say when that, para when that space capsule landed, it was going like 13 miles an hour, right? And yet here it did. It splashed down into the water and floated, which is even more important that it did that. So for us, it's, it's trust in God, belief in his goodness and his love for us. And when the difficult times happen, that we have enough stored inside of us, enough battery power, enough energy inside of us, that we know he'll be with us. We know he's there. We know he'll help us make it through. With confidence in our loving God, we offer our prayers and petitions to him. For our church, may the Lord raise up holy men and women to humbly labor on her behalf. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, may our God of justice guide them in working for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are lonely or homebound, May Jesus' healing and consoling hand be upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God's word continue to guide us in truth and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may the Lord welcome them into the fullness of the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Angelo Picnic, and John Kuzma, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, grant to us that which we have presented to you according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us who receive it. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. You have given us, O oh Lord, bread from heaven, endowed with all delights and sweetness in every taste. And for those who are watching by live stream, we offer this spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. A company with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts and in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.